share with us something very very important. Anataka kushiriki leo jambo ambalo ni muhimu that will be a great blessing to you. Ambalo litakuwa la muhimu sana kwako. And uh, even as I share with you it also challenges my heart. Na pia ninaposhiriki nanyi linanipea changamoto moyoni. Because we are always revived and cleansed by the word. Maana kila wakati tunahuishwa na kusafishwa na neno. One thing that I love this church for Ah jambo moja ninalopenda kanisa hili kwalo is the church of the word. I think you should be excited for that. Yeah, many times I've gone to places. Ah, mara nyingi nimetembea kwingi and uh, they value other things more than the word. Na wanapenda mambo mengine kuliko neno. And I like it when people are writing and when people are jotting notes down. Na napendezwa ninapoona watu wakinakili ama wakiandika chini because what we share here can take you for more than 50 years to come maana kile ambacho tunachokisikiza hapa kinaweza kukupeleka miaka 50 ijayo i know you are not planning to die tomorrow next year najua hauna makusudi ama haupangi mazishi yako hivi karibuni so i want to share with us today kwa hivyo nataka kushiriki nasi leo about grace to your next level ah kuhusu neema ya kiwango chako kingine Grace to your next level. Ah, uh, neema ya hatua hiyo nyingine. Always we should be living kila mara tunafaa kuishi understanding that God wants us to move from level to level. Ah, uh, tukielewa ya kwamba Mungu anataka tutoke kiwango kimoja tuende kile kingine. It is the will of God. Ni mapenzi ya Mungu that you keep progressing in life. Kwamba uendelee kunawiri maishani. Stagnation is a curse. Ah, uh, kukoma mahali ni laana. Yeah, stagnation is a curse. Kukoma kukoma mahali ni laana. It is not a blessing to anyone. Si baraka kwa mtu yeyote. Because when you stagnate in life, maana unapokoma mahali maishani, you even get tired of where you are. Unaweza ukachoka na mali ulipo wewe. And you even uh, hate where you are. Na pia unaweza kujichukia na pale ulipo. You know life is like a journey. Unajua maisha ni kama safari. Yes, safari. Actually it's like a journey. Ni kama safari. And uh, we are walking na tunatembea and some people are coming from behind na watu wengine wanakuja kutoka nyuma yetu and what you need to understand is this na kila unafaa kuelewa na hiki where you are stepping now mali ambapo umekanyaga sasa there is somebody else waiting at your back kuna mtu anayengojea nyuma yako they want to step there wanataka kukanyaga pale ulipo and in front of you na pale ulipo there is somebody else kuna mwingine mbele yako who is always on the move ambaye pia anasonga somebody say amen amen and so uh, i want to share with us about grace for your next level kwa hivyo nataka kushiriki kuhusu neema ya kiwango kingine You know to move forward you need a certain grace in your life. Wa kuendelea mbele unahitaji neema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need a certain grace to move to push you forward. Unahitaji neema ya kukupeleka mbele. And number one, we have this uh, uh, issue that I will call a desire and not just a desire but a strong desire. Ah na jambo moja ambalo tuko nalo hapa ni tamanio. You know you will never arrive where your desires have ever visited. Ah, uh, hauwezi fika mahali ambapo matamanio yako hayajawahi yatembelea. There are few things that will push you forward in life. Kuna mambo fulani yatakusukuma mbele maishani. And so you will never arrive where your desires have ever visited. Ah, uh, hautawahi fika mahali ambapo matamanio yako hayajawahi tembea. You will also not arrive where your words have ever visited. Na pia hautaifika mahali ambapo maneno ya kinywa chako hayajawahi tembelea. You will also never arrive where your mind and your heart has never visited. Na pia hautaifika mahali ambapo mawazo yako hayajawahi tembelea. There is a price to your next level. Kuna gharama ya kufikia kiwango kingine. I want you to write something down. Nataka uandike kitu chini. Things don't just happen. Mambo hayafanyiki tu. You cause them to happen. Unayasababisha wewe kufanyika maishani mwako. 
write down in capital letters. Andika kwa herufi kubwa. If I was a teacher I will come to Mark. Ningelikuwa mwalimu ningekuja kusahihisha. Things don't just happen. Mambo hayafanyiki tu. My friend you cause them to happen. Rafiki yangu wewe huyasababisha kufanyika. And so first you must desire to move in your life. Kwa hiyo kwanza lazima utamani kusonga mbele maishani in your business katika biashara yako in your marriage katika ndoa yako in your personal life katika maisha yako ya ubinafsi in your ministry katika huduma yako you must desire lazima utamani i have a question for you this morning nina swali kwa kwa wewe leo hii are you just existing where you are je unaishi tu pale ulipo You know we say stagnation is a curse. Unajua twasema ya kwamba kukomaa mahali, kukwama mahali ni laana. We should always be moving from level to level, faith to faith. Lazima kila mara tuwe tunasonga kutoka kwa imani hadi kwa imani nyingine. And I will tell you something. Na nitakwambia kitu. To inherit things in the kingdom of God, ku ridhi mambo katika ufalme wa Mungu, sometimes we will need prayer. Ah uh, wakati mwingine itahitaji maombi but mostly lakini haswa you will need to mature and grow to that level where you can attain to something ah uh, utahitaji kukua na kukomaa kiwango cha kuafikia yale mambo i think i just preached we can go home natumai nimehubiri tuwaweza funga na twende nyumbani you know you don't need a long sermon au <laughs> hauhitaji ujumbe mrefu we are talking about grace to your next level tunazungumzia neema ya kiwango hicho kingine you see somebody can bring you a lot of wealth or a lot of uh, uh, things on your hands but if you don't want ah mtu anaweza kukuletea utajiri mwingi mikononi mwako na kama hautaki you can take a brother to hilton hotel unaweza kumchukua ndugu to Hilton Hotel. Hilton Hotel and uh, if he doesn't want it na kama hataki and food is brought before him na tuchakula tumeletwa mbele yake but the brother loves ugali madodo na huyu ndugu anapenda ugali chafua <laughs> it will be very hard for you to feed them itakuwa vigumu kwako wewe kumulisha even some things may be very complicated you'll be asking you know we went with a brother to a hotel and they brought these spoons you know they brought these things this thing unajua kama waluya wakiletewa waluya namna gani sasa tena ah wacha zako kiswahili yako now <laughs> okay let's keep on oh aliletewa chakula mingi and so no they brought, first of all they brought these spoons forks akaletewa vijiko uma actually is i don't know how you got that <laughs> so he said ah, why all these guys are disturbing themselves bringing spoons knife what do i need to do with the knife mbulu yakiletewa hizi vitu kwa zinamchanganya sio one so he, he was complaining sir alikuwa analalamika push, push, push to these things aside. To push these things aside. Uh, show me where i can wash my hands nionyeshe mahali pa kunawa so that i can handle this stuff ili ningangane na hii chakula okay let's come back home turudi nyumbani if somebody doesn't have a desire for something in their hearts kama mtu hana tamanio moyoni mwake wa jambo fulani moving forward in their lives kuendelea mbele maishani making it in life kufanya mambo maishani you will be wasting your time utakuwa unapoteza muda wako that is why even to your relatives na hiyo ndio sababu hata kwa wanajamaa when you want to help them you have to design are they ready ah ukitaka kuwasaidia lazima kwanza utambue je wako tayari somebody say desire tamani and you see sometimes we have a desire but it's just a superficial oh i desire ah wakati mwingine tuna matamanio lakini matamanio hohe hahe I I love music so much. Napenda muziki sana. You'll meet a lot of people coming to say I want to play the keyboard. Ah utasikia watu wengi wakisema kwamba nataka kucheza keyboard. I want to play the guitar. Nataka kucheza guitar. After one, two, three days they just Baada ya siku moja mbili wanachoka. Somebody say desire. Tamanio. Lift up your hand and say father. Baba. Say it again father. Baba. I desire next level. Natamani hatua nyingine. I desire next level. 
I receive it now. In Jesus' name. Clap hands to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap hands to Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Number two. Uh, ya pili. The next level uh, hatua hiyo nyingine is brought about by kingdom mindedness. Ah, uh, inaletwa na mawazo ya ufalme. Or rather kingdom promoters. Ama watu wanaokweza ufalme. Give me Matthew 6:33 please. Ah, nipewe Mathayo 36. Matthew 6:33. Mathayo 6:33. Uh, Madhayo 6:33 yasema hivi Bali utafuteni kwanza ufalme wake na haki yake na hayo yote mtazidishiwa Now you see when we dedicate ourselves to the kingdom of God tunapojiweka wakfu kwa ufalme wa Mungu it is like the eye of God gets on us in a special way. Ah, ni kana kwamba macho ya Mungu yanafunguka kwetu kwa njia ya kipekee. The other day I was reading a book of uh, a man of prayer he lived in 17th century. Ah, kuna juzi nilikuwa nasoma kitabu cha mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye aliishi miaka ya sabini. He's not sabini, uh, 17th century, 17th century karne karne ya 17 his name was em bounds ah uh, jina lake alikuwa anaitwa em bounds i was reading something and i was traveling ah uh, nilikuwa nasoma kitu nikisafiri but there is something that caught my eyes and my mind and my spirit kuna kitu kilinigusa he was writing to his son in faith alikuwa anaandikia wanawe wa imani and he said something na akasema kitu that caught my attention ambacho kilinigusa he said if you take care of God's business. Ukishughulikia biashara ya Mungu, he will take care of your business. Atashughulikia biashara yako. I read that place again and again with tears in my eyes. Nilisoma kwa huo mstari tena na tena kwa machozi machoni. Sometimes we are so serious with our own selfish lives. Ah wakati mwingine tunashughulikia maisha yetu wenyewe sana. And we want our own stuff. Na tunayahitaji vitu vyetu wenyewe. That is okay. Hiyo ni sawa. But I would like to tell you something. Lakini nataka kuambia kitu. When you commit yourself to business to kingdom business ukijiweka wakfu kwa biashara ya ufalme your life will never remain the same again maisha yako hayatakuwa vile tena i said your life will never remain the same again maisha yako hayatasalia vile tena i said your life will never remain the same again maisha yako hayatasalia vile tena and so kingdom mindedness kwa hivyo kuwa na mawazo ya ufalme wa Mungu you, know, you know the business that you are having it's God who gave it to you unajua biashara uliyonayo ni Mungu alikupa now can i go down here tunaweza one time i was in congo and i wanted to come and i said no 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 please come up wanajini wanataka watu wao they they had closed they had made a thing like this they lock so an elder came and locked so ka hapo na unahubiria hapo ta Thank God because I'm free amen. Amen. <laughs> you know sometimes it's good to travel you will see a lot of stuff. Ah ni vizuri kusafiri. Don't wait for somebody to call you. Don't wait for somebody to call you. Usingoje mtu akuite. Just prepare your own fare and travel and go. Enda busia uone watu wa busia. Not busia, ubusia. <laughs> Oh my brother you will have a slap when when I finish this preaching you 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 owe me a slap okay now when the bible says but seek first the kingdom of god you know god does not just speak words mungu haneni maneno tu and then he comes back and say oh i didn't mean it ah na tena sema kwamba oh sikumaanisha yeah i was just uh, well, don't worry ni kwa nasema tu sijali that is not our god huyo si mungu any word that he speaks Neno lolote analonena it's very important. Ni la muhimu sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so if we can dedicate ourselves to kingdom matters. Kama tunaweza tukajitolea kwa biashara ya ufalme and put our God first. Na tumweke Mungu wetu kwanza. Now somebody is asking in which way? Mtu anauliza vipi? Somebody who is kingdom minded, mtu aliye na mawazo ya ufalme they show it with their action wanaonyesha kwa matendo yao you know when you are dedicated to something ukua umejitolea mhanga kwa kitu like when you are dedicated to your job or to your marriage 
uh, kama vile kujitoa kwa ndoa yako ama kwa kazi yako it is the level of your dedication that attracts success in that area ah uh, kujitolea kwako kunavutia mafanikio katika ile hali have you ever ama pale ulipo have you ever seen men that are not dedicated to their marriage umewahi waona wanaume ambao hawajajitolea katika ndoa zao have you ever seen them mwai waona well they are not here they are in morocco wa hawako hapa wako kigali kwenye alikuwa <laughs> Morocco brother Have Morocco wako Morocco that are not dedicated to their business Umaiona watu ambao hawajajitolea kwa biashara zao some others are opening their businesses at 6 uh, in the morning wengine wakifungua biashara zao saa 12 asubuhi and then they are opening at 9 wao wanakuja saa 3 baada ya kunywa chai na lunch a time will come ah wakati utakuja it will show itaonyeshana who was dedicated to what ni nani alikuwa amejitolea kwa kazi you see just being a sunday christian my brothers and sisters will not mature you up in spiritual things kuwa mushirika ama mufuasi wa jumapili peke yake haitakusaidia i have gone to places in churches to preach nimeenda kwa makanisa mengi kuhubiri and you see men of god saying that uh, these days people don't come for weekday meetings ah unasikia watu wa Mungu wakisema kwamba hizi siku watu hawakuji mikutano ya katika cha juma that's why we stagnate in many areas of our lives hiyo ndo sababu tunakwama maeneo mengi sana maishani when you begin to dedicate yourself to the things of god ukianza kujitolea kwa mambo ya Mungu to be a kingdom promoter wewe ni wa kuinua ufalme wa Mungu. When you take care of God's business. Ukishughulikia biashara ya Mungu, God will take care of your business. Mungu atashughulikia biashara ya kwako wewe. Now, hear me real good. Hear me real good. Ah, nisikize vizuri. There are things we cannot buy with money. Kuna mambo hatuwezi kununua na hela. I know you got it. Najua umeipata. There are things we cannot get into by our education. Kuna mambo hatuwezi tukaingilia ama tukaingia ndani na kiwango chetu cha elimu. Thank God for your degrees. Shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya shahada ulizonazo. You can have the more than a thermometer. Unaweza kukua nazo zaidi. But I'll tell you something. Lakini nitakwambia kitu. There are things that only God can handle in our life. Kuna mambo ambayo ni Mungu tu anaweza kashughulikia maishani mwetu. That's why we need to love. We need, we need to have the spirit of dedication to God. Hiyo ndio sababu tunahitaji roho wa kujitolea kwa Mungu na kujiweka wakfu. Serving him and living for him. Kumtumikia yeye na kumuishia. Somebody say kingdom mindedness. Kuwa na mawazo ya ufalme. Say kingdom mindedness. Kingdom mindedness. Like when we talk about uh, children going haywire becoming drunkards and stuff like that ah kama kuzungumzia watoto wake wakipotoka na kufanya mambo ya kutushangaza sisi kama wazazi weeping them may not really help ah kuwa chapa viboko huenda it uh, isisaidie like one of my nephews that we were weeping one day ah kama nephew wake mmoja ambaye alikuwa anatandika siku moja a young man kijana barubaru he was messing around alikuwa anafanya vituko so after we whipped him baada ya kumtandika viboko he went to the forest alienda forest and brought a heap of vibokos akaleta hundi la viboko and he said i think you did not whip me well akaotuambia nadhani hamkunichapa vizuri i wanted to help you <laughs> nimeleta nime viboko mzuri niwasaidie now Whip me real good. <laughs> Sasa munichape vizuri vile mnataka. Kama ni wewe utadu. What are you going to do? <laughs> Utafanya nini sasa hizo? Young man like that. That is to tell you that whipping amezoea. I mean now whipping is not nothing. Ah, hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba viboko havisaidii na ham, hamtamsaidia. But I have had women that went on their knees to pray. Lakini nimesikia kina mama ambao alienda kwenye magoti yao. Women that were dedicated to kingdom business. Ah, kina mama waliojitolea kwa ufalme wa Mungu. It turned around their marriages. Na ikabadilisha ndoa zao. That shall be your portion in Jesus name. Hiyo itakuwa sehemu yako katika jina la Yesu. That shall be your portion in Jesus name. Hiyo itakuwa sehemu yako katika jina la Yesu. Listen and I receive. I receive. Kingdom mindedness. Turudi hapa juu. Kingdom mindedness. Kuwa na mawazo ya ufalme. Kingdom mindedness. Kuwa na mawazo ya ufalme. You, you cultivate, you cultivate it. Unajenga, unaikuza. You know I know maybe you are 
brought up in a family where people are not serious with the things of God. But because now you have grown up, you have to grow up and begin to do your own good stuff. Kingdom mindedness will promote your life. To take you to the next level. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to write down something. People are in sizes. What wako kwenye viwango but life is in levels. Lakini maisha yako kwenye viwango. People are in sizes as in you made yourself fat, thin, tall. Watu wako kwenye upana ama size 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 i love the sheng i love size. the sheng guy if you joke i'll call him i like the sheng guy who was in the pretty zee majo mazea wo zingine siko anashika but it's okay i'll learn <laughs> people are in sizes watu wako kwa sizes and i realized something the other day na nilitambua kitu juzi fat people are taking pills to be thin oh watu wa nono Watu wanene wanameza madawa wawe mbamba and the thin people are taking pills to be fat. Na mbamba wanakunywa madawa wanenepe wafure. Not here in Morocco. Si hapa Morocco. I don't know about it because I don't live here. Sijui hapa maana siishi hapa. People are in sizes. Watu wako kwenye sizes. But life my friend. Lakini maisha is in levels. Imo kwenye viwango and you choose na unachagua your own level kiwango chako that is loaded hiyo imejawa you choose in life unachagua maishani your own level kiwango chako mwenyewe you are where you are now uko vile ulivyo leo because of the level that you chose kwa sababu ya kiwango ulichochagua that is why if you choose to be prayerful ukichagua kuwa mwombezi if you choose to be excellent in life ukichagua kuwa wa ubora maishani and you work at it in life na ufanyishe kazi maishani when it will come back to you hiyo ndio wakati tarudi kwako remember we say kumbuka tulisema things don't just happen mambo hayafanyiki tu tunayasababisha kufanyika say it three times please slowly not like an evangelist say it like a pastor now mambo haifanyiki tu maishani tunaisababisha ifanyike Good. mambo hayafanyiki tu maishani tunayasababisha sisi wenyewe kufanyika clap on for him amen good amen. job good job amen amen and so where you are where you are because you chose to be where you are kwa hivyo uko vile ulivyo kwa sababu ulichagua I was listening to a man of God called Matthew Ashimolowo. And ikona msikiza mtumishi wa Mungu aliye anayeitwa Matthew Ashimolowo. A little bit I got a little bit angry but uh, I squared up. Ah uh, alikasirika lakini alitulia. He said poor people are poor because they have chosen to be poor. Alisema ya kwamba watu maskini wamekuwa maskini kwa sababu wao wenyewe walichagua kuwa maskini. Think about it. Hebu fikiria na tafakari. When you hear that you'll get angry and you'll say he doesn't know where we come from he doesn't know my parents didn't take me to school Aki ukisikia hivyo unaweza kukasirika ukisema kwamba oh hajui mimi nimetoka kwa jamii ya maskini hajui si kwenda shule hajui sina kisomo hajui tunaishi rwiru rwiru now look at me Hebu niangalie Some people are at the level of crawling Ah wengine wako kwenye kiwango cha kutambaa others are at the level of walking wengine wako kwenye kiwango cha kutembea others are at the level of running wengine wako kwenye kiwango cha kukimbia others are at the level of flying wengine wako kwenye kiwango cha kupaa there is nothing wrong at beginning and meeting yourself at the level of crawling ah si, hakuna ubaya kujiona na kujipata mahali pa kutambaa but the problem is lakini shida ni remaining there all the days of your life. Kuishi pale ukitambaa miaka yote ya maisha yako. And so I decree and declare. Na sasa natangaza your levels are changing in Jesus name. Viwango vyako vinabadilika sasa. Your levels are changing in Jesus name. Kiwango chako kinabadilika. Your levels are changing in Jesus name. Viwango vyako vinabadilika. 
Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Decreto of the miracle shout amen. Amen. Ama hapa mnaongea polepole. Ukiongea polepole sitarudi hapa. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Kingdom mindedness. Kuwa na mawazo ya kifalme. Number three. Jambo la tatu. What will bring you to this this other next level of your life? Ah, kile ambacho kitakuleta kwenye kiwango hicho kingine cha maisha. Please turn with me to Proverbs 11:25. Ah, twende katika Mithali 25. 11:25. Mithali 11:25. Are you getting blessed? Je, Are you getting blessed? Somebody say liberality. Say it again liberality. The Bible says that a liberal soul shall be made fat. You see, to be made fat to me the interpretation is that you will be taken to the next level. Ah, hiyo inamaanisha kwamba mtu mwenye mwenye nafsi ya ukarimu atastawishwa. Yeah. kwamba huyu mtu atapelekwa kiwango kingine. I'm looking at that word ukarimu. Ah, neno hilo ukarimu. You see The Bible says give and it shall be given to you. Biblia sema kwamba peana nao utapewa. A full measure pressed down and shaken together. Kiwango kizuri ambacho kimetingizwa na kusukwa sukwa. Now this is not just all about money. Ah, hii si kuhusu pesa tu. You can give counsel. Unaweza kupeana ushauri. You can give clothes. Unaweza peana mavazi. You can give school fees to somebody. Unaweza kupeana kara ya shule kwa mtu. You can give courage, you know with courage words. Unaweza kumuhimiza mtu na kumtia moyo. The problem with us is that we are so selfish. Ah, shida yetu ni kwamba sisi tuwajipenda sana. It is just all about me and my three kids. Yote ni kunihusu na watoto wangu watatu. God wants us to get out of the box. Mungu anataka tutoke kwenye hilo sanduku. Forget about just looking at our own troubles and problems. Ah, tusahau kuangalia shida zetu wenyewe. You see, in fact maturity demands. Ah, una, kwa kweli kukomaa kwa hitaji that after you've been praying for an issue in your life baada ya kuombea hoja zako mwenyewe and it's like taking time before coming na ni kama inakawia kuja thank god for it shukuru mungu kwayo and begin to pray for people that are in the same same issue na uanze kuombea watu walio kwenye matatizo kama hayo hayo somebody say liberality say it again liberality You see God wants to take you to a higher level in your finances. Mungu anataka kukupeleka kiwango cha juu kifedha. Did you hear that? Masikia Thank yo. you for those two and a half amens. God wants to take you to another higher level of finances. Mungu anataka kupeleka kiwango kingine cha juu kifedha. You know some people have been at the same level all the days of their lives. Watu wengine wamekuwa kwenye kiwango kimoja maisha yote ya maisha yao. The only 50,000 that you handled was when you were being sent by your boss. Ah, elfa msini ambazo ziliwahi ingia mikononi mwako ni wakati ulitumwa na tajiri wako. Now you guys are quiet. The only 100,000 that you the check the, <laughs> the, the only 100,000 that you handled in the bank was not yours. Ah, elf mia moja ambayo ilisomwa kwa kaunti yako siku moja haikuwa yako. Ilikuja kimakosa. It was because you were sent. Labda ulikuwa umetumwa. But look, lakini angalia. God wants you to handle your own. Mungu anataka uwe na yako mwenyewe. I said God wants you to handle your own. Mungu anataka uwe na yako mwenyewe. That, that is why he says in 3 John Ah hiyo ndio sababu anasema katika waraka wa watatu wa Yohana. I wish that you may prosper. Natamani munawiri. Beloved. Wapendwa. How many beloveds of God do we have here? Tunawapenda wangapi wa Mungu hapa? Lift up your hand and say I'm the beloved of God. Mimi ni mpendwa wa Mungu. Say it again I'm the beloved of God. Mimi ni mpendwa wa Mungu. Now forget about your past because as you're saying beloved you oh you know I did a mistake uh, beloved so you're raising your hand like you are a half beloved <laughs> How many beloveds of God do we have Wewe ni the beloved of God Mimi ni mpendwa wa Mungu The will of God in your life and in my life Mapenzi ya Mungu maishani mwako na maishani mwangu is that you may flourish and prosper ili kwamba unawiri na ufanikiwe and make it in life na ufanikiwe maishani not to be a beggar all the days of your life si uwe kwa kuomba watu kila wakati maishani you have begged enough 
Umeomba vya kutosha. Now God wants you to be a supplier of the others. Mungu anataka upoape wengine. I feel like starting to preach now. Na hisi kuanza kuhubiri sasa. I can now start. Naweza anza sasa. <laughs> Somebody has kwani uko unafanya. And so <laughs> A liberal soul. Ah, moyo wenye ukarimu shall be made fat. Itahuishwa, itasawishwa. In other words, you will flourish. Utaimarika. I want you to write something down. I want you to write something down. Nataka uandike kitu chini. What leaves your hand? Kinacho acha mkono wako ama kinachotoka mkononi does not leave your life. Hakitoki maisha ni mwako. What leaves your hand? Kinachotoka mkononi mwako. Kereboshi. Does not leave your life. Hakitoki maisha ni mwako. What leaves your hand? Kinachotoka mkononi mwako does not leave your life hakitoki maisha ni mwako what leaves your hand kinachotoka mkononi mwako you see this is to tell you that when you are stingy you are stagnating your life ah hii ni kumaanisha kwamba ukiwa mbanifu mkono birika wewe unakoma pale ulipo when you open your hand like this lakini ukifungua mkono wako you have created room for the next level umeweka nafasi ya kupokea kiwango hicho kingine I had another man of God called Bishop Oyedepo say something and nilimsikiza Bishop Oyedepo akisema kitu he said if you can release a thousand bob ah uh, alisema kwamba ukiachilia shilingi 1000 you must have that level of a thousand bob una kuwa una master hicho kiwango cha 1000 kutoka to say hiyo ni kusema even when somebody wants to bless you hata kama mtu atataka kukubariki and they go to their pocket na anarudi mfukoni mwake leo wezi pata they just land on a thousand bob ah wana wanafikia 1000 If you have been giving a thousand bob here, kama umekuwa ukipea 1000, you must a thousand bob. Unakuwa na kiwango hicho cha kumiliki attracted. Unaivutia even when you are walking on the road. Hata kama unatembea barabarani and you pick money. Na unaokota pesa. You pick a thousand bob. Utaokota 1000. That tells you why you have been picking 50 bob. <laughs> Hiyo inakuambia kwa nini umekuwa ukiokota shilingi kumi all your life <laughs> maisha yako yote ile ya juni ya msini. that tells you why you have been picking mbao mbao hiyo inakuonyesha kwa nini umekuwa ukiokota shilingi 20 think about it kwa sababu unapeana because what you master will always come to you maana kile ambacho ume umetawala kitakukuchia lift up your hand and say i hear you preacher i hear you preacher I know that is at home. Najua hiyo imefika nyumbani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what leaves your hand does not leave your life. Kile kinachotoka mikononi mwako hakitoki maishani mwako. You see I'm I'm trusting God to become a great promoter of the kingdom. Naaminia Mungu kufanyika a mwinua mkuu wa kazi za ya Mungu that when a man of god is building something like this kwamba wakati mtumishi wa mungu anajenga jengo kama hili and they are being harassed by committees na wanateswa na committee na boards i will just write, write a check of 30 million na na ingia ofisini mwangu ama kwa gari langu naandika cheki ya eh, milioni 30 ya kumaliza hiyo kazi i just had one amen there nilipata amen moja anakubaliana na mimi that is my desire hilo ndilo tamanio langu it's my desire ni tamanio langu that when a missionary is being sent somewhere kwamba missionary wakitumwa kule nje because i've been a missionary and i know the troubles that they undergo maana nimewahi kuwa missionary na nilikipata nikiwa huko it's so tough wa, ma, wa, uko nje ni kugali being harassed financially unasumbuka kifedha and by the police na, po, na polisi wa ambao hawaelewi lugha kwenu you know the bishop is laughing because one day i was calling when i was in the police 
Ah, bishop anacheka kwa sababu siku moja nimpigia simu nikiwa gerezani. And I told him I think I had papers I can just come back to Kenya and get a job. Ah, na nikamwambia unajua nina makaratasi naweza rudi taifani mwetu na nitafute kazi. When there is a call upon your life uh, you just go back again. Lakini kama una mwito maishani hata baada ya masumbuko hayo yote unarudi. My prayer is to be a kingdom promoter. Mimi naomba kuwa mtu wa kusimamia ama ku promote kazi ya Mungu. Now I will tell you something. Nitakwambia kitu. When it is in your heart. Kama iko ndani ya moyo wako. God will put it on your hands. Mungu ataiweka mikononi mwako. God will put it in your hands. Mungu ataiweka mikononi mwako. God will put it in your hands. Mungu ataiweka mikononi mwako. God will put it in your hands. Mungu ataiweka mikononi mwako. You know sometimes we pray for increase of salary. Ah wakati mwingine tunaomba tuongezewe mishahara. But God is asking what is the plan of this increase of salary? You just want to eat mandazi and put legs on the sofa set or what do you want to do with the increase of Ah unataka ni kuongezewe mshahara ufanye nini? Unataka kukalia 7 Wende uswim. Una mpango gani? Some things God will look at what you desire and what you want to do with what you're praying for. Ah, Mungu anaangalia matamanio yako ni yapi na kile unachotaka kufanya na hayo matamanio ni nini. You may just be praying father, give me millions. Ah, unaweza kwa unamwomba Mungu, baba, nipe mamilioni. But if he tries you like with the 500. 500 mingi, 20,000. Akikujaribu tu ukiomba milioni akujaribu tu na 10000. Peke yake. You don't come to church for three weeks. Hautakuja Jumapili tatu kwa sababu ulienda kusherekea. Not you but people in Moro. Si wewe ni watu wa huko Moro. Number four, next level anointing is brought by a prayerful life. Ah, kiwango kingine maishani kinaletwa na uombezi ama maisha ya uombezi. A life of prayer. Maisha ya uombezi. A life of prayer. Maisha ya uombezi. You no know, prayer turns around things. Ma- maisha ya uombezi hubadilisha mambo. And we have different types of prayers. Na tuna maombi tofauti. We have the prayers that seek the hand of God. Ah, kuna maombi ya kutafuta mkono wa Mungu. And the prayer that seek the face of God. Na kuna maombi ya kutafuta uso wa Mungu. Seeking the hand of God. Kutafuta mkono wa Mungu. You are just praying for things, for things, for things. Wewe unaombea tu mambo, vitu, vitu, vitu. But seeking the face of God. Lakini kutafuta uso wa Mungu is just fellowshiping with God. Ni kutafuta Uh, uh, ushirika na Mungu. You are concerned with the love of God. Una u, u, wewe unataka upendo wa Mungu. I have my my last born child called Excellence. Uh, ana mtoto wa kifunga mimba anaitwa Excellent. Last born maybe for now because uh, you never know. Ah uh, ni acting last born wake. <laughs> acting last born. And so this girl is five years. Na huyu binti ana miaka mitano. When I'm just coming on the gate. Aki tokea tu pale langoni. And the gate is even not opened. Na labda mlango halijafungwa. And I've just hooted and I just want to come in. Eh excuse na gari akipiga tu horn. She just jumps and she says, "Daddy, you're late again." Yeah, yeah, what have you brought her? Anaruka anasema, "Daddy, you're late again." She doesn't know. She doesn't want to know if I am sick or whatever. She wants to know what did you bring? Hataki kujua amepigiwa makelele wapi? Amefanya nini? Anataka kujua ameletewa nini? She's climbing and she wants to come and ta kuingia. Yeah, let her in. Ah uh, dadu maleta nini huko nyuma nini iko that is okay at her stage hiyo ni sawa kwenye kiwango chake but when she will be 18 20 years lakini atakapokuwa miaka 18 20 and i'm hooting and she's coming dadu maleta nini na nilipiga hon na sema baba maleta nini believe ye me niamini leo the slap that she will get ile kofi <laughs> Ile kofi atapata <laughs> juu ya utoto. The message is at home. <laughs> so, we should not just keep on asking God, give me, give me, give me. Hatuvai kuwa tunaomba nipe, nipe, nipe. Some things will come when we mature up. Mambo mengine yatakuja tukikomaa. Did you hear that? Umesikia hiyo? Some things will never come just because you are confessing. I confess, I confess. I receive, I receive. I receive. Mambo mengine hayatakuja kwa sababu una confess kila siku. Oh, oh. The thing is, are you ready? Je, swali ni hili, je uko tayari? You are praying for a husband. Una unaomba Mungu akupe mume. Are you ready? Je, wewe uko tayari? Knowing that one time a husband can just wake up and slap you. You are praying for a wife. Unaomba Mungu akupe mke. 
Are you ready to handle a wife? Je, uko tayari kukaa na mama na bibi na mkeo? Sometimes you just wake up. Wakati mwingine utaamka asubuhi. Her name is Mary. Jina lake anaitwa Mary. You're calling Mary. <laughs> Mary. She's not responding. Mary. Mary. Wewe ni mgonjwa? Umeumwa na nyoka? Now. <laughs> if your name is Mary, I, I <laughs> I, will you be able to handle? Je, uko tayari ku handle hiyo changamoto? Sometimes you must ask yourself the capacity. Unaweza kujiuliza kama Viwang, ah, so kama soba zako ziko tayari. When we got married with my wife and we did the wedding, we went to Mombasa for honeymoon. Walipo wana wakaenda honeymoon Mombasa. And we, were, and we were talking we were saying ah, we will never we saw another couple they were quarreling every time they were quarreling we said ah, we we will never ah tuliona wengine wakigombana tukasema sisi hatutawahi bishana wala kupigania makelele just in the first week baada ya wiki hiyo moja we were in Mombasa tulikuwa walikuwa bado wako Mombasa walikuwa wanakaa mwezi i don't know what she did siji alifanya nini so i said hey and, and then <laughs> so we were walking in town she was like there and i was following <laughs> so that she would not get lost <laughs> that is life <laughs> are you ready for this bless kijana je uko tayari lift up your hand and say i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready say it again i'm ready i'm ready now you see your prayer life kwa hivyo maisha yako ya ombezi will cause you to qualify for the next level. Ah, itakusababisha uitimu kufikia kiwango hicho kingine. That's why you need to graduate to your next level through prayer. Hiyo ndio ndio vizuri unafaa kuhitimu kiwango hicho kingine kupitia maombi. You see, time spent with God is never wasted. Unajua wakati ambao umetumia pamoja na Mungu si wakati ambao umepotea. The anointing of God will come upon your life in a special way. Upako wa Mungu utakuja juu yako na njia speciali. You see a prayerful musician and a musician who doesn't pray. Ah, mu, uh, mwimbaji ambaye hutumia muda mwingi kuomba na yule ambaye haombi like the worship this morning was so great. Clap hands for them they were doing a good job. Amen. Ah, kama kikundi cha Siva na kuabudu walifanya kazi nzuri. It entered into another level and I really loved it. Ah, waliingia kiwango hiko kingine na nikapenda. That does not just come. Hiyo haikuji tu. You must go for it. Lazima uitafute. Time spent with God is never wasted. Muda ambao umetumia pamoja na Mungu haujapotea bure. How many people want to move to their next levels? Ni wangapi wanataka kuingia kiwango kingine? You see maybe things are hard at the place of business where you do business. Ah labda mambo ni mazito maana unafanya biashara. And things are hard and tough. Na mambo ni mazito na ni magumu. You can break the boundaries. Unaweza kupenya katikati through much praying. Kupitia maombi. Not religious praying. Si maombi ya kidini. Mungu baba ni asante. Mungu baba ni asante. Bariki wale wa hospitali. Waponye wale wako hospitali na wale wako njiani usiwapea ajali. Na, na not, wale not walinde staff. like my mother used to pray some prayer when I used to go to school. Ah wakati mama yake alikuwa anaomba akienda shule. She used to pray. Now my son is going oh god. Ah sasa mwanangu anaenda shuleni baba. He's going to use things something that doesn't have eyes. Ah anaenda kutumia vitu ambavyo hazina macho. <laughs> so father take care of him. Kwa hivyo Mungu mlinde. Well at that level God understood that it was okay. Kwa hiyo kiwango chake Mungu alimuelewa na hiyo ni sawa. <laughs> But if I will still be praying for my children like that. Lakini kama mimi nitaombea watoto wangu vivyo hivyo. And you is going to travel with something that doesn't have eyes. Ah kwamba anaenda kutumia kitu ambacho hakina macho. Now most of my praying these days like 80% is in tongues. Ah maombezi yangu siku hizi asilimia them 80% ni kupitia ndimi and then i enter into declarations na kisha naingia katika kutangaza mambo because in job 22 28 the bible says and you said decree a thing and it shall be established ah maana katika kitabu cha yohana inasema kwamba utatangaza mambo na yatatukia that's why you need to take your level high your prayer life higher unafaa kuchukua maombezi yako kiwango cha juu you know when you pray in tongues unapoomba katika ndimi you begin to deal with things in the spirit unashughulikia mambo katika kiroho makopo sheteka yerekea baba baba shekere ande lebo kosta kada labayani lekere shekata 
Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as you pray like that, the Bible says, and the Spirit of God prays with us with words, with groanings that cannot be uttered. Ah, na Biblia inasema kwamba na roho wa Mungu huomba ndani mwetu na man, na kilio cha maneno ambayo hayaeleweki. You are dealing with the stuff. Unashughulikia mambo. You will not need hands to be laid on to break a curse. Hautahitaji mtu akuwekelee mikono ndio uvunje laana. Let me tell you something. Wacha nikuambie kitu. People are used to this deliverance of Lia na utoke. Lia na utoke. Watu wana wamezoea hizi sarakasi zinafanywa kwa makanisa mengine ya kwamba lia 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 toka well in a way it works lia na utoke tapia lia na utoke tapika tapika ukitapika hapa utapanguza hizo sarakasi that's okay and that's a level hiyo ni kiwango chake but i realize something lakini nitambua kitu there is a deliverance that can just come when the word of god comes in kuna ukombozi uhuja wakati neno la Mungu limeingia mtu because pastor Shira, the word of god brings light maana neno la Mungu huleta mwangaza and you see when there is a lot of darkness in my life or in your life wakati kuna giza ndani ya maisha yako ama maisha yangu darkness of things stuff giza la mambo na vitu What do you do with the darkness? Unafanya nini na giza? When you meet darkness in this house. Ukipata giza hapa ndani. Look for the switch. Tafuta kibonyezi. And just put on the light. Na finya kibonyezi. Now in our lives. Katika maisha yetu. When those darknesses of sickness and disease. Ah, hiyo giza ya magonjwa na maradhi. Stagnation and funny stuff. Kukaa mahali na mambo ambayo yaeleweki. And you know you bring in the word. Unaleta neno. The word of God will bring light in Na our lives. Neno litaleta mwangaza maishani mwetu. And deliverance automatically sets in. Na ukombozi mara moja unaingia. I see you delivered in Jesus name. Na kuona moyo kwa huru katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Woo! I say this. You see like when there is this darkness of poverty. Wakati kuna ile giza la umaskini and you are barely making it in life. Na unangangana maishani hata kukula sapa. Hey, this church is rich, you know. I'm seeing some money down here. Ukiokota hiyo, hiyo ndio kiwango yako. <laughs> you know, I just saw it. Okay, I will return it there so that my my statement will <laughs> but hope that you will not come for it. <laughs> Now, look, when we are living a struggling life, ukiishi maisha and then you come and meet a scripture na uje na upatane na andiko that a liberal soul shall be made rich kwamba nafsi yenye ukarimu itasawishwa give and it shall be given back to you peana nao utapewa and then you start living that life na uanze kuishi hayo maisha already deliverance has happened kwa tayari ukombozi umefanyika and you will begin to flourish na utaanza kunawiri in your life katika maisha yako Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it again hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when we practice our prayer life and take it higher and higher and higher. Kwa hivyo tukifanyisha mazoezi maisha yetu ya uombezi na tuipeleke juu. Prayer will open new doors in our lives. Maombi yatafungua milango mipya ya maisha yetu. Did you hear that? Umesikia hiyo? Prayer will bring deliverance in our lives. Maombi yataleta ukombozi maisha yetu. Prayer will cause us to miss the messages of life. Ah, maombi yatafanya tukosane na makosa mashani. You know as we live this life. Unajua tunapoishi haya maisha. You see stuff happening that you don't want to see. Utaona mambo yakifanyika mambo ambayo haungependa kuyaona. You just watch the news. Unaona habari. Funny stuff is happening. Mambo ya kiajabu yanafanyika. But prayer can turn around all those things. Lakini maombi yanaweza badilisha hayo mambo. Prayer can turn around a nation. Ah, maombi yanaweza badilisha taifa. Prayer can turn around a life that was going in the grave. Ah, maombi yanaweza kubadilisha maisha ambayo yalikuwa yanaenda kaburini. That is why if you live a prayerful life, hiyo ndio sababu kishi maisha ya uombezi. What kills others will never kill you in the name of Jesus. Kile kidawa wao wengine hakitakuwa katika jina la Yesu. And that's why I decree and declare. Hiyo ndio sababu natangaza that your life shall not be like the others. Maisha yako hayatakuwa kama ya wengine. A thousand will fall on one side. 
Elfu watanguka upande moja. Elfu kumi upande mwingine. Lakini haitakuja karibu nawe katika jina la Yesu. Haitakuja karibu nawe katika jina la Yesu. Lift up your hands I receive. I receive. Ooh. Ooh. Hallelujah. Do you receive it? Unapokea that, that what kills others will not kill you. Kwamba kile kinawaua wengine hakitakuwa. What kills others what, what makes others tremble and shake? Corona ikifanya wengine watingike na watetemeke. Ah, you are like uh, this uh, it's a challenge I'll be out. Ah, unajua hii ni ah hii ni kidogo nitaishinda. Nita Nimeishinda tayari. At divorce. Wewe wewe amdai. Ah. This is just a challenge I'll be out. Hii ni changamoto tu nitaishinda. I live my life. Nitaishi maisha yangu. There is no money. Hakuna pesa biashara imeharibika. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. Ah, kulia kunaweza dumu usiku lakini furaha yaje asubuhi. Prayer will cause you to ride above heavy weight circumstances. Maombezi yatakufanya uende juu ya hali zote ngumu. Lift up your hands and five seconds just pray in the Holy Ghost. Mahosh. Repehu karishanaye. Lejita kayemo zashina. Lepriki.